In this fitting, we're gonna take a look at a suit jacket. So there are quite a few things we can look at with the suit jacket. The most common are sleeve length, sleeve width, and the jacket body fit throughout the back and the th through the sides. The less common but possible alterations for a suit jacket would be shoulder fit, jacket length, and even narrowing the lapel for an older jacket that we want to modernize. So with this suit jacket, we're gonna take a look at the length of the sleeve and the width of the sleeve. This width is a little bit wide. When we're taking the width of the sleeve in, we're gonna start at the hem or the cuff and move up the jacket toward the armhole. And we're just pinching out along this underarm seam. Most suit jackets are constructed very similarly, so they're going to have an underarm seam that comes in and matches up with the side seam. We are just gonna pinch into, all the way up into the armhole. And then we're gonna have the customer bend. Is that comfortable? Does it look like the pins are pinching too much? No, that looks good to me. So we're gonna narrow that width then, if the customer did want to lengthen or shorten the sleeve, these sleeves have about an inch of extra room that they can be let down and lengthened. And suit jackets, again, are pretty standard in their seam allowance, so we know that we could give him an inch if he needed it. If we needed to shorten the sleeve, we are just gonna go right ahead and pin that under and let the customer take a look at it. Very straightforward. We'll pin through the button placket and then just let them take a look. The standard jacket sleeve should hit right at the break in the hand. So the cuff is gonna show from the shirt underneath, it's gonna show about half an inch. And we want our jacket to be just about half an inch above that. Let's move to the body of the jacket. We're gonna have the customer button the first button for me. Great, and then go ahead and turn around for me and we'll take a look at these three seams in the back. So we've got our blades going over the shoulder blade area and then we've got our center back seam. And on this jacket, we have a single vent. We could also have double vents. To take in the body of the jacket, the, we wanna start at the smallest part, which is the waist. And we're just gonna feel for that. Then we're going to pinch evenly amounts and take a look. How does that look? How does that fit the customer? That looks good. I'm gonna ask him, how does that feel? Is that too tight or does that feel comfortable? And he'll be able to look in the mirror and say, yeah, I think I like the way that that fits. Then I'm gonna take that amount that I've pinched I'm gonna feel under the jacket and make sure that I don't have his shirt caught in there, which I did. And then pin out that amount. And again, that's right at the waist. And I know that because I'm feeling for his waist. I feel that that's the smallest part of his body. Then we're just gonna take, that's gonna be the deepest amount we take. And then we're going to merge that amount back out or if the entire hem is too baggy and too blousey, we'll pin all the way straight through the hemline. Perfect. And then up into the arm. So now we've finished pinning out the amount that we'd like to take out. But if we wanted to instead let the jacket out, the jacket is too tight, then all we're gonna do is slash down that seam with our chalk and make the alterations note say how much we wanna let the jacket out. 
Typically, with a regular suit jacket, they're not going to give us more than maybe about an inch of seam allowance. So if the jacket hasn't been taken in before, we've only got an inch in there. And we'll make a note in the alterations ticket. If the seamstress doesn't have enough later, we'll worry about that then. But for now, we'll tell the customer, no problem, we can let that out as long as they can still button it in the front. If the jacket is so tight that they can't button it at all, there is definitely not enough seam allowance inside to let it out. Now, the last thing that we wanna look at while we're in the back is the collar roll. On this jacket, we can see that there's a very slight pull here. You see that? So they call it a collar roll because it is a roll. It's a roll of extra fabric. And how we're gonna fix that is we'll actually remove the collar and move this fabric, reshaping it into the collar later. But to mark it, we're just going to pinch with our fingers, see how much extra material there is there. So we're just gonna make a mark there to indicate this is how much we'd like to take out. This amount of fabric will actually be smoothed into the collar, but this is the way we're going to mark it to indicate that. That'll be enough to indicate what we're saying. So now we've taken in the jacket, we've marked the collar roll, we've looked at the sleeve width and length, and now we're ready to take a look at some of our more complicated alterations. On this jacket, there are a few things that we can do to really modernize and update the look. One is the length. This jacket is a little bit long and the customer would like to take it up. Now, when we pin this, because of the curved edge, it'll be hard to give them a good idea of exactly what that curved edge will look like. So don't worry about getting that part pinned exactly. It's the length that we wanna pin up. Typically, I don't like to go more than two inches up because then we're conflicting with the pocket. So we'll let the customer go as far up as roughly two inches. And we're gonna pin that in place on one side of the jacket and allow them to compare it to the other side. So we'll pin the front, we'll pin the side, and we'll pin the back, coming to the first vent, wherever that falls. Then we'll allow the customer to take a look and compare the two sides. So he can see the front, and we'll assure him, we're going to put the curve back in exactly as you see it, but it will be shorter there. So he can take a look at both sides and then turn and take a look at the side and the back. That's where it's going to hit now. Great. Now, after the length is done, we're gonna take a look at the lapel in comparison to the overall length of the jacket. I see that the lapel is a little bit wide, bit of an older style. The only complication we have is right here, this little guy. This is a real buttonhole. It's a functioning buttonhole, which means it's been sewn and cut through the entire side. So we cannot go past the buttonhole. We can go up to it, which we can mark with chalk and give the customer an idea of exactly how much we can take that lapel in down to the natural curve right above the button. So every suit jacket will have its, the natural curve of where it falls and the lapel turns over to turn into our button placket. So this nice white chalk helps the customer visualize what we see, which is, yeah, we'll be able to take that lapel in about a quarter of an inch, three eighths of an inch, and he can see that in the mirror. Finally, we're gonna take a look at the shoulders. What I like to do is place my hand flat palm against the shoulder. If the shoulder comes out and juts out past my flat hand or flat palm, I know it's too big. This jacket fits him well. You can see the curve of his arm. You can see that the shoulder seam sits where his actual shoulder is. And I know that because I can feel it. But if this shoulder and padding, we're jutting out past that. 
we could pinch that amount out. Now, with the jacket padding and the structure of a suit jacket, there's too much material in there to really pin it. So again, we're gonna use our chalk and say, I think we need to take it in this much. And we're pinching that amount. We're pinching it and we're feeling it while the customer is looking at himself in the mirror. He can see what we're doing. He can see the new seam that we're putting in and he can say, yes, that looks good. Oh no, that's too much. Or it's still a little baggy to me. And we're gonna do that down the front and we're gonna do that down the back. Same maneuver where we're pinching and we're marking with the chalk, both on the jacket itself and on the sleeve. Enough so that we can see exactly where we wanna take it into. And we wanna end wherever our back blade is. So we wanna end before this. And we're gonna do that with our chalk. We're really sculpting. This is really an artistic alteration because it, it involves a lot of opinion. You are looking at the proportions of the jacket and the man and deciding where those lines go because we are gonna cut down this alteration. A few very important things about these three alterations, the shoulder, the lapel, and the hem, is that they are irreversible. We cannot let them back out. Once they're cut and they're reshaped, they are done. So it's really important that we take the opinion of the customer into consideration and let them know exactly what we plan on doing because we cannot take it back.